Alright, so without further ado, let me show you how to create a full scenery. Also same, we will use the rock assets, but we will make it the scale bigger to create a full scenery. So first, we need to start is the new file here. You need to change to centimeters for easier for you to calculate. So I will use the width, which is 32 cm, and then the height will be 18 cm, and then the resolution will be 350 pixel per inch. Okay, and then to start, how to create a concept art, right? It's like if you don't have any experience, zero experience, it's better that you import the photos to help you to get the color, the concepts, and also everything in order. So I will use this one, this photo, because I like to start my art piece using something very bright, vivid, and also cheerful so this color is quite cheerful so when you look at it right they have a very nice sunny day and then the sunshine here and then you can see there's a road so i will adapt the colors and also the slightly the composition of it first of all how am i going to do that i use this paint layer one will be the bg sketch zero one okay so i will use the brush which is uh very normal this one the wet paint brush make it bigger okay normally when i sketch the concept background without any detail yet right i will use a bigger brush strokes and then choose this one and then we set up the horizontal okay i will not use similar like the design here because i want to create my own impression of the cinematic view and also the design of the scenery i will also still use the road there so i will use this uh the road here this road is like creating a destination so it's important you need to create a purpose in your concept art if your concept art doesn't have any purpose right it will become very sad And then here got grass i will in inherit the the concept here which is you have some rocks here and then you get some some grass here so blocking the sun right right so here we'll create the shadows so you can see here is quite dark because of the shadow so the road here is very dark and then slightly lighter and then slowly towards the this one so you can see here brighter is because of the because of the light exposure of the light and then the rock here the formation i purposely create it pointing at the here pointing at the road there so create the illusion of the guideline to guide the people to see the part that i want to showcase to them okay just simply put like that and then here you can have a continuity of the sunlight and then some of the grass here then slightly adapt the color that you can find so this one i can move it slightly towards here and then you press r to here you will select back the layer that you are painting and definitely when you paint this concept art right normally we don't we don't put details in the beginning stage we just use this kind of rough sketch and then mountain do some base first I want to create some mountain which is uh, very ridiculous it's not ridiculous uh, you can say it is not conventional mountain like that Try to make it looks like something that is out of the world, not something that is normally appear in our real world, but slightly a bit of fantasy. So you can see the design of the mountain is like bikey towards the surrounding light there. And then no worries about the detail first. Uh, you just create the textures and then you can inherit the design, like how the mountain textures looks like and how it goes. Okay, so all the design of the background here must inherit a similar kind of an impression of the mountains okay and then i need to switch the photo to the side here so that easier for me to paint the part there
close this one first oops accidentally make it draw on the layer on this one but no worries how do we solve that very simple huh? just copy this one out ctrl c ctrl v so this is just only the picture already and then you can just press delete on this layer Voila, gone so now different layer already right so switch off Now you need to see whether this design is up to your standard. Are you satisfied with it? Definitely for your first attempt, you're not going to be very satisfied with the outcome. So you need to do a lot of amendment adjustment. But for us, when we do the initial concept, try not to put too much time, spend too much time on the subject first. Okay, try to make effort on the overall design. So you can see the colors that I use, right, is all based on the real photos. So even though I do some very weird design of it, but the overall still looks like the scenery, even though it's just only a simple sketch right there. Okay, now I put some line there. Yeah, it's like pointing towards like everything is like an arrow pointing towards the main subject so it looks it feels interesting like that Okay, now you have the overall cell already and this, these are the reflections uh, that you can add later okay, it's up to you whether you want to add it or not but i don't touch on this one now i'm going to do the sky so according to this okay according to this the photo here the color is very vivid so this one two combine together Control e merge down and then create another layer this one rename it as sky so i will use back this vivid color Just like that and then switch off this one so you can see this is a very simple sky definitely you still can do a lot of amendments of it now the stage is already set up so the second part is you are going to put effort on the details so before we go to that so we need to set up the lighting correct so this is a main light source right and this one the grass here and then you can add a little bit stone there and here and there just to enhance the flavor and then a simple road towards some place here like for example the road can be traveled like this or going passing through the mountain this is all the decision that you can make eh? because this is your design you can always do some amendment on it all the ideas that you put it in right you pour it in it should be maintain the similar genre the similar uh design element if your thing is like pointy a bit right don't suddenly add something very round uh. Yeah, so I suppose like this mountain is like something passing through right and then crash it through here and then through there So here create a crater Something happened in the ancient days Not sure what happened These are just only the imagination that I have So the way how I paint it is similar to when you do the exercise in painting the rock asset in the very beginning of the class.
this is the initial sketch so i will try to improve the main subject first to make it more logical and also to make it look more interesting as you can see, I'm trying to add the design element to enhance this kind of uh, exaggerated mountain. Okay, you can see the mountain that okay, this one is too light already, so I will need to reduce it. So I will use slightly lighter tone like that to make sure the mountain has enough textures of it. So when you draw this, you can always refer back to the reference photo that you have and then to check whether the things that you draw is logical or not. Sometimes it requires a bit of experiment, a bit back and forth like that to get the result that you want. Okay, sometimes erasing also is a very useful way to get to the nice trim that you want. So this will be the reflections from the ground here. So you can see it is slightly greenish a bit. And then you can use the blender brush blend it. So this will be a bit of time consuming because when it comes to design right there's nothing like one plus one equal to two so it's all based on your sense how you're going to add it subtract and there's no certain things like the uh, headline really judge what is beauty or not because in art right uh, whether it works or not is very subjective
So if you find it very hard to handle right, you can zoom out a bit because while zooming out, you can see the overall clearer. So a lot of people, they focus too focused on the details, right? Using the zoom in too much, you will lose the big picture. So it's better that sometimes you zoom out and then look at the big picture first, then you can zoom in to draw again. some line strokes to create the layers of the grass from the near to the far. Now use the blender to slightly blend over this area. Okay, as you can see, it's become more and more detailed already, right? Okay, save first. Then put some green stuff here. It's like the for some of the plants come climbing up to the mountain here because here you can still see it is slightly exposed to the light.
So you can see if you create the concept art using the method that I'm showing you, right, you will find a lot of satisfactions because when you keep on adding it, adding the details on it, you will find it hey, slowly, slowly your design is more and more reasonable and making sense. It's always better that you have a photo to help you to design colors and also the setup that you want. And then you can do the, a lot of amendments after that. And I have still have a lot of ways to show you how you can use uh, the technique that you can use. It is very practical for you to, to learn all the techniques that to create the concept art. So this is just only one of the way using pure painting skills. But some people, they might have difficulties if the art foundation is not that strong, right? If they just started to learn how to do concept environment art for the first time, right? It will be very difficult for you. But I have other techniques that I can show you. So after these sessions, I will show you the other technique that will help you even though you are lacking in skill in drawing, but you still can create a very nice concept environment art. So the design consistency is very important. So you can see all the details that I'm drawing, right? The mountain, the rocks, the textures, all should be very consistent, uh, even though it is different subject already, right? Some is very far away, some is very near, but the consistency of the design element should be taken care. So the far away object here, you can try to use different brush or texture brush. So no need to use just one brush to do that. I always use that wet paint brush is to help me to, to create the blending that I want. But when it comes to the overall, right, I like to use this brush. So this is the brush I like to use because it has the textures. While well, I paint it, it won't be totally just smooth surface like that. It has some textures of it. So I will create another route towards uh, other places. It's uh, like a shortcut. And now you can add a bit of this kind of uh, green bushes. You can use some texture brush to help you also. So this will help you to create the layers of the grass better and easier.
then what else this one is for the road if you want to create a texturized road right so this one is very useful you can see what else you can use yeah, a lot of texture brush that you can use to to create a road Try using this one to create the texture for it. Yeah, better. So you can add some of the grass using this brush also it's something very visible yeah, but if you want to maintain the roughness of it then you don't do that and then some of the dirty muddy toned using a bit slightly brownish So the water is reflecting the cloud. Eh? and then the details of the rock formation here
and you can change this brush so this brush is very useful eh? so this one it looks like a hair brush but it's very useful when it comes to draw this kind of grass like that
After that, you have done right, you can do sharpening a bit. So go to the filters and then enhance, sharpen. So everything will slightly sharpen. And the cloud, I don't think you need to sharpen it. So just leave it there. So overall, you can see, I zoom out a bit. Okay, you can see the main focus will be the road leading towards to the mountain behind. So the element of the design, you can see the side, the foreground of the rock here, and also all pointing towards this center of the big boulder. So it is very important that you design the compositions which guiding the audience to look at something which is very important rather than something which is not important so it's important that you need to learn how to apply those elements into your concept drawing so this is the final outcome and hope you enjoy the sessions all right